If you want to understand crime and deviance or anything else, you have to begin by looking at relations of power and inequality. In modern societies, power lies in the hands of the ruling capitalist class. That is those who own the means of production, the big corporations, factories and banks. And the state and the law function to uphold these inequalities. This has three important consequences as far as crime is concerned. First, a great deal of lower class crime has to be seen as an understandable response to inequality. Second, the media highlights only lower class crime such as theft, mugging, burglary and so on. Third, as a result of this, the crimes of the powerful, corporate crimes such as fraud, illegal monopolies and so on, tends to be less visible. So the rich and powerful usually get away with their crimes. In general, high and rising crime rates and increasing disorder and deviance is a price we have to pay for living in an increasingly unequal and immoral society. If I had to summarise this approach in a well-known phrase, it would be, to those who have shall be given.